What a crew we have here. The man didn't have no trouble fixing his car. The not so fun part. It's a rare night, y'all. If it's not one thing, it's I don't know how many things. I'm choosing to see the silver lining here. So you get 10 points if you can name that song in the comments. Okie dokie. Well, an inch and a half of rain later. That's what we got, y'all. We are going to put the horses out for the afternoon. We've already been out here and done chores this morning. Fed them, watered, hayed, clean stalls. So now we're going to put them out. We'll bring them in tonight. At least get them, let them get a little, little bit of sunshine and stretch their legs. Whew, what a muddy mess. We gotta go make a load of feed. Um, I said, it's probably gonna be hard getting out there. He said, it's really not any different than it has been. <laughs> uh, it won't be sticky. It'll just be sloppy, which actually it might go easier. Tractor might go easier uh, when it's wetter. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're doing. The guys have been working. Wesley took some video, just showed that. So. They had to dump the old silage wagons, get them cleaned out, fed some hay, and we're just happy, happy to see the sunshine. What a crew we have here. We're up. <laughs> we're just letting Ben follow us. We didn't even put a halter on him. Because if he's going to, he's just all about following. All about following along, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> Oh, everybody's gonna roll. <laughs> Cowboy's pawing. Oh, me. Gonna roll, gonna get dirty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at Ben. Ben is taking off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Peggy, good luck. Happy horses, happy horses. <laughs> Look at Rip. <laughs> get it, boy. Get it. Ben, you got to catch up now. Wait, here he goes. Oh. <laughs> to go nowhere alone. The man didn't have no trouble fixing his car. They never did nothing. I don't want none. <laughs> so Tell them what we're doing today. Double negatives. Double negatives. She's learning about double negatives. And she said, but this is how, <laughs> what'd you say? This is like the redneck way of saying. It's the redneck way of talking. And she said, it sounds normal. They sound normal to you, don't they? <laughs> I said, I know. Because we, we talk with too many double negatives. Don't we? Huh? Yeah, we do, don't we? We do, don't we? We do. Well, that one, that one be that's right. not a, that's. Because you have to have another nine. I don't know. Anyway, it's funny. She was talking in a, she, she was saying them in a funny voice. He never leaves me no money. He never leaves me no money. How would you say that correctly? He never leaves me any money. He never leaves me any money. This isn't nobody's business. This isn't anybody's business. Yeah. And one word that I use often that's not even supposed to be used ever. My mother used to get on me a lot. You know what it is? Ain't. Yes. Ain't. 
paint. But that ain't I'm not sorry. true. That ain't not true. Yeah, that would be a definite double negative. <laughs> right there the just ran in and cut the barbed wire okay well Well, these knuckleheads would not come. It's a long walk, y'all. They don't want to go in. Sorry, you got to go in and eat your feed. Oh my gosh. Look at how dirty they are. Oh, look at you. Rip. I mean, Ben? Ben, you've been laying down all afternoon. I really I hope he's okay. Are you okay, Ben? Are you okay? Huh? I don't know. Thought you were just laying down. Now I'm not so sure. Okay, y'all. Uh, ben was definitely not just laying down, feeling good in the sunshine, like Austin thought he was when she went out there a little while ago. Um, he's colicking. He's not drinking. So, I came in where I had service. And, uh, anyway, called the vet. The vet is on his way. He should be here any minute. Dr. Irwin to the rescue. So, hopefully it's not bad. Hopefully, hopefully it's not bad. And it can be fixed. And we can get him tubed or whatever needs to be done. Um, the kids are scared, of course, because we've been down this road before and it did not end well. But in that instance, Pete had gotten into an awful lot of grain. We know for sure that Ben has not gotten into any grain. I really have no idea what would cause this, but sometimes it just happens. They've got a hundred feet of intestines and um, sometimes things just get just get twisted or, you know, that could be what happened. He could have rolled and twisted it. There's so many things that could happen and colic just falls under this one big umbrella of issues. So, um, yeah, we'll just pray that, um, it ends up okay. <laughs> the not so fun part of owning animals the not so fun part. But this is life. And um, I'll keep you posted. Okay, I'm back. Update. He seems to be doing better. He is doing better. Lawrence had given him banamine, which the vet said was exactly what he would have told him to do. Um, so that probably helped. Checked his gut sounds. He does have some gut sounds. They were a little slow, but he's got them. So he gave him some other medicine for that. He's starting to eat some hay, still not really drinking water, but um, 
we he feels like that he's going to be okay and it's not serious so um that's that hopefully in the morning he will be completely back to normal let's hope and um yeah so Whew. all right that's that um oh it's always something it's always something isn't it um okay oh I'll put that up uh while I was waiting on Paul to get here, I prepped supper. There's a recipe I saw online, I, probably on Instagram or something. I don't even remember, but it was called little pizza bombs. So you take a biscuit and you roll it out and you put a little bit of pizza sauce, a little bit of pepperoni. I use these little sausage things and um, cheese, uh, mozzarella, like hard cheese that I cut up into cubes. And then you just pinch them together and put them in the oven. So, and then you put like a butter, I gotta melt the butter, butter, garlic, Italian seasoning, and Parmesan cheese. You're gonna, I'm gonna brush the tops when they come out with that, and I think they're gonna be good. I could be wrong, but I think they are. And this is what we have, y'all, look. <laughs> I'm so excited, I think this is gonna be really good. Oh, yeah, they smell good, don't they? Ooh, it's like a lot of butter. That's what it called for, though. It's butter, garlic, it's like I eat it. Parmesan it cheese, and Italian seasoning. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yummy! Look at that. Okay. This is really it's good. a lot better in the pizza sauce. It's a lot better what? In the pizza sauce. In the pizza sauce? Oh, dipping it in the pizza sauce. Okay. All right, y'all. I'll try to write that one down for you in the description. Got another bright, sunshiny day. Well, Ben seems to be back to normal this morning, right, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. You feeling better? He was all ready huh? for breakfast this morning. He he's was... already. He ate his breakfast. Mm -hmm. He's pooped. He's drank his water. You scared us there, Benjamin. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that was about, but. Glad it turned into not much, thankfully. Hey, Rippy, are you ready to go out? Oh my goodness. What a mess we have. <laughs> yep, I'm ready and waiting. Oh, you're so dirty. <laughs> oh, there he goes, he's pooping now. Good, good, good. Never been so happy to see a horse poop. <laughs> okay, everybody has rolled mm -hmm. except for except for cowboy. He's Paul and he's thinking about it. I, uh, I think I might need to since everybody else did. I don't know. Hmm. Do I do it or not? Maybe if I come over here where it's muddier, that would be better. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, enjoy this beautiful day. We have got a beautiful day. <laughs> I got a spirit. Y'all, every time I see, every time I see uh, Cinch run, I think of that spirit, that movie spirit. I can't help it. It's a rare, it's a rare night, y'all. See what I did there? It's a rare night. I had I had steaks that were thawed out and need to be cooked that we didn't get cooked the other night because we ended up going out to eat after our practice. So T bones on the grill it is. Austin really wanted me to cook them on the grill again, and it's a beautiful day. It has been a beautiful day. I have not videoed anything, alas, but it has been a beautiful day. Um, and it's supposed to be pretty the next couple days. Before guess what? More rain. You got it. Um, but anyway, so we are just, we're having steak here in the middle of the week. And we're going to call it good, I hope. And we're heading to church, youth group, and Aldi, grocery shopping, all the fun things. All the regular things for the week. Oh, there's my buddy. My ups buddy. Never fails. Every day, like clockwork. Not every day, but pretty much every day. 
Look at this train of horses. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for doing that so I could do this. Oh my gosh. A bunch of dirty horses too. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Don't even need halters. They just follow each other. Look at her. Lead line, not even wrapped around his neck. <laughs> well, y'all, if it's not one thing, it's, I don't know how many things. A bunch, right, Rippy? So, we have some sick horses this morning. Um, I have never personally had to deal with this, but I knew what it was as soon as I saw Rip. <laughs> I called the vet. He's, um pretty sure he and cowboy have what's called strangles if you're a horse person you know that is not a very good word it's highly contagious it's a, a lymph node inflammation I don't I'm sh I don't know all the technical words I just know his lymph nodes are very swollen he's not eating he didn't eat his breakfast and he always eats everything immediately um, and there's really not much you can do for it except for let it run its course and hope and pray it does shortly. My vet <laughs> um, uh, told me that just just be prepared because it's going to be very ugly. The um, lymph nodes under here are going to abscess, and it's going to look horrible. But that is um, <laughs> that is how that is how it cures it cures. So um, we've given them banamine for the pain to hopefully get them eating. Cowboys is not as bad, but um, he did eat most of his breakfast, but his are swollen. The other three don't show any signs right now. So we have to quarantine him. We're keeping him separated. Um, hoping, hoping the rest don't get it. It's typically something that young horses get. Typically younger than these two, though these are very young. Um, they're, they can be vaccinated for it pretty sure they haven't been. I'm going to find out for sure. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. And um, what the vet said was that um, you don't want to give antibiotics because if you give antibiotics, um, it can suppress it and then it can come back really bad. And then you could have major issues like death. Mm -mm. We don't want to talk about that. So hopefully it's just going to run its course. Within a week or two, they'll abscess. Well, hopefully within a week. And then, um, probably going to have to keep them here, quarantine for up to a month. So, we were doing so good. We were doing so good, y'all. Oh, well, it is what it is. I just want my babies to be all right. Uh, we're still going to go to Jim's this afternoon and ride some of his horses so we can keep on the uh, lesson program so we don't get so far behind. And then um, if they go ahead and get through this, we can still ride them here after after they get, get through it. We'll just keep them quarantined a while. But anyway, that's what we're dealing with. So, like Jim said, the only way you can avoid stuff like this happening is to not own horses and well like uh anything in life that we love there's good and bad right we gotta take the good with the bad the bad with the good my sweet boy he's so sweet I just don't like seeing him sick okay that's that okay y'all we are home we are home uh, just put Cowboy and Rip back in the barn. They've been out today in a separate pasture by themselves. Um, they were both eating supper, so that is a very good sign. Uh, so now it's just, it's just wait. It's just wait it out. Wait and see, uh, how they progress. <laughs> Hope they keep eating. They've had, they've got pain medicine twice now. Um, so... That's that. We had a really good day at Jim's, at Jim Isley's training center again. Um, we got to each ride some of his horses, and I rode a mare. 
the nicest mare I've ever sat on, the most trained horse I've ever been on. Y'all, we were doing like raining spins, like I almost came off because we were spinning so fast and I got dizzy, but it was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. And we did a lot of roping practice and um, it was just good. It was good. So we are not going to have to stall our progress even though our horse's progress is gonna be stalled. But I'm, I'm choosing to see the silver lining here because we are at a baby stage. Our horses, as Jim said, our horses are gentle, but they're not well trained, trained, right? So they're not, they're not at like, they're not at a level like these horses we rode today. So maybe a month or so, of doing some training with these other horses will help us with our own skills and abilities and confidence. And then when we get back on our horses, hopefully we'll be that much better to help guide them to get that much better. Does that make sense? So it's the only way to, it's the only way to not be upset about this and just, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So we got to make the best of it. So Thank you, Jim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got to get him on here and actually introduce him formally. I got to get him behind the camera. I got to do that. I'm going to do it soon. I am. He might not love it, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> so we love him and we're so thankful for him. So now it's late, but I'm going to cook some supper. I'm going to throw something together and we're going to call this a day. We're going to call it a day. I feel like I was emotionally drained there for a little while. So it was actually good to go. I really, at first I didn't want to go. I thought, I just don't want to go, but I'm glad we did. Sometimes, you know, it's just best to make ourselves do the things that maybe we don't want to do. Um, and in the end it works out better that way. So, okay. So much talking in this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. Just about saying, been listening to lots of old country. That's the way love goes, babe. Name that song. You get you get five. You get ten points if you can name that song in the comments. And who sang it? Well, just name who sang it. I love him. He's a good old good one. Okay. All right. We're hungry. I'm hungry. The kids are hungry. Gotta gotta get on that.